What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel Total Technology this is tutorial 18 and today we'll be going to talk about a mean and Amex function on num numpy on numeric python so guys this is also going to be very uh, small tutorial i'm not going to uh, stretch this tutorial duration rather than i'll be just going to talk about what is a mean and Amex function and after that we'll see some uh, some examples and why this is important and we'll just uh, like conclude the session so without wasting for the time let me just uh, open so what is amax and what is amin actually i didn't write anything here so to give you guys uh, the definition from uh, uh, from the uh, from the numpy uh, uh, library directly so what i'll do i'll just uh, import numpy as np okay so let me just create something so now np dot a uh, min okay so this is a function how to get the definition as i uh, told you guys uh, in the last video so see return the minimum of an array or minimum along an axis so this is how it is so what do you mean by minimum of an, of an array or minimum an uh, axis means if your array is only one dimensional so it is going to give you the minimum uh, like uh, array among all the elements and if you have two dimensional array then it is going to give you the uh, minimum of any axis so you have to mention like this axis 0 and axis 1 okay so in this way you can uh, do this thing okay so let's try this thing okay so suppose let's create an array np dot a range Okay, so first I just forgot just to take the definition. So let's open this thing. Okay, and we'll do some examples here. Okay range now we'll see how we can use this uh, a min okay a min now uh, np dot a min a sorry a so first of all what is a actually uh, no actually i didn't create the array over here so let me just create the array so this is taking some other value of the array so a is this so what is the minimum value of this thing definitely zero so if i run this thing np dot m in so it is going to return zero see and suppose uh, we change it from uh, 10 to 50 and then run this thing see i got 10 why i got 10 see the arrow starts from 10 so minimum is obviously 10 so as, as it is says that we can also create some sort of axis we can mention the axis as well and and how to do that so this is actually a min uh, 1 1 d array okay so this is one example okay so let's write this thing create another tutorial duplicate slide uh, and it will be on two dimensional array so let's remove this part and we'll do some exercise okay so let's write this thing here okay let's create another array b okay so np dot a range let's make it 50 okay and we'll make it reshape so 50 means uh, let's make it 10 by 5 so 10 row 5 column okay so b is like this okay so what will be the minimum element of b from every axis okay you can do in two different way so np dot b mean np dot a mean b so definitely minimum element is zero uh, okay 
zero now at least actually overall array so this is actually uh, a min on overall array so now we'll uh, apply uh, what we'll apply now we'll apply like um, axis axis parameter we'll we'll, uh, we'll uh, pass additional parameter with the axis so a min on axis wise so how to do that so np dot a min b axis zero axis zero means this one row wise so let's run this thing see i got this thing uh, uh, 0 1 2 3 4 sorry row wise means actually this is actually this 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 and if i put this thing same thing uh, column wise uh, like this wise mm. axis 1 then it will be from here actually so 0 5 10 like this way this will come so 0 5 10 15 20 30 so this is axis uh, 0 means in this direction like right to left is axis 0 and from top to bottom is axis 1 okay so this is another example okay so what we'll do i will just take a screenshot of this thing okay i will put it here let me just insert this thing okay what happened okay so this is the second exercise okay like this we can easily run this thing with axis 0 and axis 1 okay probably uh, I'll just uh, keep another exercise but that is for the next session but if you guys can do please send me the uh, uh, send me the update like just try to practice on this on th three dimensional or four dimensional area and let me know the answer how you are getting the answer okay so just take it as a homework or exercise and let me know, know the observations whatever you are guys are getting okay so that's all for the a mean so next thing is that a max function so by the name it is obvious that a mean is going to return the mean then max is going to return the max value okay so let me just uh, minimize this thing so a max we like np dot m in p dot m in np dot m in np dot m in okay so next thing is that np dot a max on overall array so what is uh, np dot uh, a max okay so let's first check the definition np dot a max and after that so see this is the definition return the maximum value a maximum of an array or maximum along axis right so same thing okay so exercise one so we'll do the same thing uh, whatever we did for a min let me just clean this thing this thing so let's declare another array a equals to np dot range 10 okay okay then np dot a max so this is definitely going to return 9 right 
see 9 is going to return right so what I'll do now just we'll take a screenshot of this thing what is happening take a screenshot put it here okay we'll create one more tutorial with two dimensional array f 52 just remove this part and we'll do it now okay uh, np dot a max on array so a uh, np dot a range 50 okay and we'll do the reshape and we'll do let's 10 by 5 the same thing whatever we did in the last time let's a so we got our array okay and put the second on the array on axis wise okay and now we'll apply the same thing axis 0 and axis 1 so it will be np dot a max a axis 0 so axis 0 means whatever we know right to left okay so max means uh, what will be the maximum element from here just try to understand what will be the maximum element so the last row 45 46 47 48 49 right okay and the same thing if you apply on axis one means column wise what is going to happen now so this is going to return again uh, this rows actually uh, 4 9 14 uh, 4 9 14 19 like from the different way like so this is very simple guys so you have to understand uh, what is a max and max um, uh, max and mean does but don't just uh, uh, like uh, sorry actually it should be a max I forgot to give okay okay right so you have to understand this thing that uh, if you apply max it is also working but uh, we are just talking about a max and a min okay uh, you have to just remember this thing uh, what a max does and what a min uh, like uh, does so whenever you have large data set and from there you want to check something just don't go via the normal for looping like um, if you have some for example if you have multiple values uh, on a list or from database you are uh, generating some sort of list and you are creating python uh, collection or generator whatever and after that you want to check what is the maximum or minimum so you should try to use those uh, built-in function don't just go ahead and try to apply for looping and if you are not uh, going to get any generator or something like that for example you are just get generating some sort of list or you are just reading values directly from some database so it is uh, obvious that you should convert that uh, list or something into a uh, numpy array and after that you um, do most of the operation which is actually required some sort of arithmetical function okay I'm not sure how you are going to achieve that but this is always advisable whenever possible and if you are dealing with some sort of arithmetics or mathematical function on some numbers or something similar then it is always advisable to convert that uh, array or list whatever into numpy array but 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 if you are going to deal with some sort of string then also it is possible but like numerical operations are not possible but some other operation definitely possible you can apply some sort of masking to check some string and all from uh, suppose you are having a csv file of 10 million data from the 10 million data you can convert that into a numpy array from gen from text and after that you can apply the some sort of masking and i will get a particular string uh, for that index and index value from the index value you can get the values okay like this sort of thing this is multiple things are possible so i'm just giving you the scenarios okay so that's it guys uh, that's all for this tutorial so i hope you guys enjoying the series please let me know uh, how you guys are uh, uh, actually learning the numpy from the series and if you guys are having any question doubt or feedback and if you want me to cover some other like exercise please feel free to write me i will try to include all this thing in the exercise part because nowadays actually we have already uh, completed uh, 18 or 19 tutorials so i think this is the right time to start some advanced uh, like uh, exercise as well so this is actually help you guys to in uh, develop your intuition towards um, 
a machine learning algorithm and logic using numpy okay as i told you like there are four things required for machine learning one is mathematical intuition and three libraries like numpy matplotlib and pandas okay some other additional libraries are there but this is the four fundamental thing you have to clear about your, on your mathematics thing mathematics means pro, uh, like uh, linear algebra statistics probability and calculus so these four things are required within mathematics and within python things you need to you have to understand actually and very in depth Uh, that is numpy matplotlib and pandas so once we complete the numpy we will start pandas and after that we will combine numpy and panda pandas uh, like techniques to apply in our using our uh, um, to apply some sort of apply on the data set to create some sort of visualization because ultimately the fundamental goal is to create some sort of visualization to get better results better result means data result is already there in the data what is machine learning and data science data result is already there in the data but you have to like uh, get the get to the insight of this data and uh, generate some sort of nice looking uh, uh, report or dashboard so that the reports are easily readable from the for the users or end user cause you are you are the data scientist that is why you can do analysis but your company ceo is not a data scientist so uh, so it will be difficult for him to understand that is why this algorithm and subject so so enough of talking guys so probably once you finish this numpy thing we will start the pandas okay so that's it guys um, please subscribe it to our channel hit the like button if you are really um, you know, liking our videos please feel free to put some comments it is actually helping us to or uh, also motivating us to create more and more contents for all of you but thank you very much for the support and um, like help you guys are doing and last but not least thank you very much for all the udemy students for purchasing this course this is actually helping us a lot and same thing is applicable for all of you guys if there is any doubt or any topic which is not uh, like clear for all of you or some of you please feel free to write me i'll try to answer all your queries immediately and 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 I'll try to launch the exercise as well for Udemy students, and please feel free to uh, like check out our like uh, uh, channel uh, or the email notification for the timely update. So that's it, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye, and don't forget to practice. Happy learning.